are these worth it? A formula that Jordan Brand continuously uses over and over again is combine red, white, and black on its retros. And for the most part, it seems to work fine every time. Also, it goes without saying that the most popular retro Jordan over the last few years has been the Jordan 4, with every colorway selling out consistently, even though sales of other models have started to slow down. And now we got these, a Jordan 4 with that familiar color combination. But did it work this time? Well, let's talk about it in this video. I'll be reviewing the Jordan 4 Red Cement. So these released in the US on Sneakers Day, September the 9th, and it also had a shock release on the European Sneakers app, which was how I was able to get my pair. These went for a retail price of $210 or 210 euros. And yes, that is the new retail price for Jordan 4s now. And these seem to be pretty widely available. There will also be a bigger release at other retailers on September the 16th, and they're coming out in full family sizing as well. And you shouldn't have too much of a problem getting these considering how many pairs there are available and also these aren't going for that much on the secondary market more on that later before we get into the video just wanted to say in case any of you guys are wondering where I got my hat from a good friend of mine based out of Canada has his own clothing brand called Mare the Do and if you guys are wanting to support a local Canadian brand I will leave a link in the description where you can get some of those products so let's get into the shoes starting off with the box so you do get a special box here this time it's done in completely black with a red Jumpman logo and you can visibly see that cement print all over the box and then looking at the shoes well my first thought as soon as I saw them was well they pretty much just flipped the fire red fours there seems to be four sections that got flipped here first are the lace crowns, so this time they're done in black whereas the fire red fours were done in red the wings seem to have been switched from black to red on the red cement fours the order of the colors on the midsole seems to have flipped as well on the fire red fours we had red at the front and black at the back but you can clearly see on the red cement fours that has been flipped and then finally looking at the heel counter we now have a red heel counter instead of black so basically to sum it all up they took all the black sections from the fire red fours and made them red and made all the red sections black so just based on that flipping of the colorway do you like this new version better or do you prefer how the fire red fours looked let me know in the comment of course i think for this reason alone this is a great pickup for anyone who missed out on the fire red fours this is a very very similar colorway most of the toe box and upper is done in this white leather which is quite good on this shoe it's pretty smooth it's pretty tumbled it's not the greatest leather in the world but I can't really complain it's pretty standard for a Jordan 4 the cages this time on the sneaker are done in white and actually that's another difference with this pair and the fire red fours on this pair you get white mesh underneath the cage whereas on the fire red fours we had black mesh so there was more of a contrast on that pair the wings on this Jordan 4 and also this heel counter in the back are both made out of this TPU material and it is done in this red color with a cement print you don't get any Nike Air logo this time like we got on the fire reds instead you get just the Jumpman the ankle liner is done in black also giving you a nice contrast moving on to the tongue of the sneaker it is done in that white leather you have the Jumpman logo done in red and the tongues are nice and padded and I have to say I don't know if I'm just tripping or not but these tongues do look kind of big on this shoe moving on to sizing on this pair so I actually I did get them in my true size which is a us 11 but i have to say the heel slippage on this pair is a lot more than i typically experience with jordan 4s i'm getting crazy heel slippage on this pair however from a width perspective they seem to fit me just fine but for those of you who don't have feet that wide you might be able to actually get away with going a half size down from your true size with this pair typically heel slippage is not a problem for me with jordan 4 so i was kind of surprised with how these felt on feet because my feet are slightly on the wide side I know that if I go a half size down I'm probably not gonna like these shoes too much so I think I'm gonna stay with true to size for those of you with narrow feet you can go down half a size if you have wide feet I would say go with your true size 
Moving on to what these are going for on the resale market now, considering this is about a week before it releases more widely at other stores. You can see that the prices aren't really going for much above retail. In fact, they're not even going for over a hundred dollars above retail. And considering this is a red, white, and black Jordan 4, I was pretty surprised. I thought these would go for much more. So my guess is either the quantities are really high on this pair or people are just really not feeling this as much as we all expected to. In comparison, however, to what the fire red fours go for this is definitely a pretty good deal so if you guys like i said were in the market for that pair and you just don't want to fork up 400 or 500 dollars in that case i would definitely rather go for these overall the jordan 4 red cement are these worth the price now here's my thoughts and let me first say this is just my opinion don't flame me for saying this in the comments the cement print is quite popular on jordan fours you could even argue that one of the best jordan fours of all time time is in fact the white cement force that print also worked really well on those midnight navy fours but on both of those shoes the cement print was done on the gray sections of the shoe which i think looked pretty good here we get the cement print on the red sections and i just don't think it works that well it just looks kind of odd i mean cement is supposed to be gray in the first place i would have liked this shoe a lot more if we didn't have this cement print if we just had your plain red sections of the shoe and overall just a flipped fire red four i think it would be a much nicer shoe this red cement print however it's not for me i kind of think it looks like a children's shoe also my pair came with some scuffs there's one here on the outsole which doesn't seem to go away and also this tiny bit on the tongue of my left pair it seems like some of the leather has scratched off there so i can't really vouch much for the quality control on the sneaker i hope you guys who got this pair managed to get a good pair but i have to say overall all this shoe does get a thumbs down from me and a pass but that is just my opinion guys if you guys like the shoe then good for you let me know down in the comments which one of you guys managed to cop the red cement fours and are planning on actually wearing them i would also love to hear why you guys like the sneaker because i'm always interested in your point of view also if you haven't already done so make sure you are subscribed to the channel it really does help me out and drop a like on this video if you found it useful also the podcast will be coming back this week so make sure you guys check that out the links to spot Spotify and Apple Music can be found in the description. And thank you so much for stopping by and for supporting my channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.